Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for Telusco Learnings and welcome back to another video tutorial under jQuery UI and in this video tutorial we are going to be understanding the theme ruler or theming in jQuery UI so if you've been following this entire javascript for beginners tutorial playlist in the previous few video tutorials we've been going through concepts of jQuery UI so we started off with plain javascript then we moved on to jQuery core library and now we are on jQuery UI which is another library built on top of jQuery and in jQuery UI we get a lot of components like front end widgets interactions and what not so we've covered a lot of widgets we've covered a couple of interactions also if you have missed those videos do check out this entire playlist but today we are going to be talking about a concept of themes in jQuery UI so since this entire jQuery UI library focuses more on user interface it offers a lot of customizations when it comes to the look and feel of the widgets and of pretty much everything that it provides so let's actually go to their official web page so when you visit their official website that is jqueryui.com just click on this themes and here you can see that there is a concept of theme ruler and this is the base theme okay so if you come on to our code right now you can see we have created three things that is the calendar control widget the accordion and we also have a custom message box so if you just scroll down this is the code for the date picker or the calendar control this is that dialog box and this is the accordion okay so here we are not going to be coding anything today we are just going to be changing the look and feel that is a the color theme of these different components so coming to their official web page again so you can see the color is blue over here and if you see all these widgets which are provided by jquery ui so they are following a similar color theme right so the highlighting is always in blue and this is the same color blue you can see for the tabs also if i click on the button if i select any of the icons if i select any of the date it becomes blue there is progress bar there is select menu so pretty much everything is following a similar color theme so this is basically the base color theme but what if you want customizations so when you come on this themes tab that is a theme ruler concept what you can do is here you can change all of this and right now you can see the option is rule your own which means it is telling you that you can customize each and everything starting from font settings that is the family the weight the size the corner radius the toolbars the content and everything you can do from scratch we are not going to be doing that level of customization so let's say you are making a complete professional website but the client wants a green theme right he wants a green primary color but right now it is blue right so you can see in the clickable active state this is blue so you can come over here and you can literally change this color to green you can see it is changed and now everything is going to be green so this is your roll your own concept right now we are not going to do that because this will be like very detailed coloring and we don't want to do that there is one more tab over here which is gallery let me just zoom in a little bit okay i hope it is visible now when you go to this gallery you can see there are some predefined options so this one was the base theme wherein everything was blue now you can see this is one more theme ui lightness if i click on it there you go you can see the accordion changes and things become yellow in color this is a slider this is the calendar control and what not similar to this we have different themes and whichever theme you select you can directly download it so let's select one i am going to select this one let's see this one this is a eggplant theme looks okay what i'll do is i'll just download it so when you download it you'll be taken to this download builder and here you can select the which table version of jquery version you want you can also select different components that you want from this color so let's say you don't want a particular widget or a particular component you can uncheck it over here we are not going to get into that because that will be very detailed thing let's say you don't want accordion so you can uncheck this and the accordion theme color will not be downloaded okay right now we are going to be keeping everything selected and just click on download so once you click on download your download will begin and there you go you can see my download is done i'll right click on it and show in folder if i right click and extract it i'll just extract it over here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to rename it jquery ui and i'm going to give it the name of eggplant because that was the name of the theme right now if i open this okay i'm getting one more folder i have to rename this one and not the outside one i'm going to change it to jquery ui hyphen eggplant now inside this you can see a similar folder hierarchy now let's come to our actual code so coming to our actual code folder so this is our actual code folder and this is that newly downloaded jquery ui eggplant code folder so into our jquery ui folder you can see this is the same exact folder hierarchy 
just like we have over here which means that what has happened is the entire jquery ui eggplant folder that we just downloaded has the new custom styling with the new css so what we can do is we can directly copy this come to our code folder and just paste it so i'm just pasting this entire folder over here i'm gonna rename it so that i can copy this name now if i come to our code what i'm gonna do is you can see over here we have given jquery ui right so i'm just gonna change this to jquery eggplant so once i change that there you go you can see everything has changed over here and i also have to make the change over here in the js and that's about it you can see the entire color theme has changed to the eggplant theme and this is because everything inside the folder of jquery ui eggplant has the same names just that the styling inside them is different right so that's why now when you're using this jquery ui eggplant folder everything inside structure wise is the same but the css is different the jquery is different and the styling is different so that's why you're getting this kind of styling so now you can see you have different options when it comes to the user interface also just go to the themes as i mentioned you can also customize it yourself let's say client has very specific requirements let's say he wants accordion as green but the button selection as blue and the tabs as red so you can go ahead and do that also everything can be done and if you have a particular theme in mind you could also get the part and let's say you want to edit this theme so the one we downloaded was eggplant right you can even edit that particular theme just click on edit and then now you can change the color of this theme also so the look and feel changes over here we have different font over here and we add the different font in the base theme so you can change that also so a lot of customizations can be done and once you do the complete customization just click on download theme and use that folder instead of the base folder so you can have base folder also in your code and then you can have different themes which you can download and rename them with a different folder name and then in the code you just have to change the folder structure that is the folder name the structure of the inner files are always going to be same the name is also going to be same okay so this is something that i just wanted to show you because this will give you a lot of customizations now you can style your widgets according to your need according to the client's need if you want and the color theme that you select okay so that's it for this video guys this was just a quick topic on theme roller or themes in jquery ui wherein you get a lot of customizations in terms of the look and feel of the widgets and of the front end components so thanks for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments how this video was and i'll see you guys in the next video peace